Okay, so I just got back from Dollar Tree, Costco, and Walmart. Um, here's an overview. I got so much stuff. I spent $101 at Costco. Oh, minus two things. Uh, movie passes for the kids. Um, and then Walmart was $272. I have split this into two... Well, it doesn't really look like I've split it, but I've split it into two different things. I have some things for home, and then I have food for Oakley's birthday party. So that will be probably the next video that I put up, but I'm going to show you guys food that I got as part of the haul. And I did go to Costco and order uh, the large croissant sandwich platter as well. And then I'm going to make everything else as usual. So I'll start on this side. This is stuff that we needed for home. So this is a large Costco bag of apples. I did get this for home. I think we only have one apple left out of all those apples that we picked. They're finally gone. <laughs> so I'm happy about that. These um, Your Fresh Market Everything Bagels are really, really, really good. Um, I bought them one, once or twice before. They're delicious. Um, just some small compost bags. We are almost out. We do do compost and recycle garbage, all that kind of stuff here in Canada. Um, popcorn, I have not bought bagged popcorn in probably about a year. I had a popcorn maker for Addison and the girls, but it broke. So for now, we'll just have to do with that. Rice Krispies, I did find a box of the holiday edition. Harper really loves Rice Krispies right now. Two boxes of just their regular great value craft dinner. It is, it's really good for just quick and easy. It's so tasty. It tastes like the original craft dinner before they changed the recipe. This I just got to put in my closet. Um, gingerbread joy special edition um, gel air freshener it smelled really good I just kind of like squeezed it and took a whiff um, I had a Boston lettuce honestly I'm just gonna take this upstairs chop the bulb off and toss it in the rabbit's cage I bought it strictly for the rabbit because <laughs> we're still having a hard time getting her hay so I'm just filling her up with other fruits and vegetables every day um, a bag of these are my favorite fries these Cavendish flavor crisp classic ones i am going to make some sticky this is broken i didn't notice i'm going to make sticky chicken fingers for dinner one day they are so stinking good i made them in a recipe or in a video sorry not too long ago absolutely delicious you just bake these and make your own sauce and coat them and it's like a boneless chicken wing delicious so i'm going to have that'll be on the meal plan for this week also tonight um i'm going to make here as well um rolled up chicken alfredo well like chicken alfredo roll-ups i guess like with lasagna noodles so that will be in this video we're gonna cook those get everything all put together and i got um some shredded chicken i've been kind of making my own shredded chicken lately in the crock pot and shredding it myself and just keeping it but i i just don't have time for that today so we'll just go with that and then i got some ricotta to go with it and some italian style shredded cheese so that's that um, deli meat. I'm going to go make myself a sandwich right now. I am starving. It's 12 o'clock and I have not eaten. Just some oven roasted chicken breast and some smoked black forest ham. I like to put like a piece of cheese, some lettuce, uh, mayonnaise, mustard, just typical yummy sandwich. Bananas. I did grab these at Costco. I think they're only $1.69 and they're huge. Ginormous. Back here, I just need some more um, to-go packs of Kleenex for in my car. I think I used up the last one, and the girls and I go through a lot of Kleenex. Uh, Wonder Thin, the thin slices of just regular sandwich bread. Um, some of this would be for home, and some of it's going to be for Oakley's party. Um, her party's tomorrow, actually. Bacon bits. Um, I, I don't really need these per se, uh, but I had a large bag in the fridge, and it I, it was open for so long, I just threw it out the other day, and I like to randomly use that. If I'm making Alfredo, I'll put it in the sauce. If I'm doing a homemade pizza, I'll throw some of those bacon bits on there. I really like the Great Value Bacon Bits better than any other brand. They're they're tasty, they're chewy, it's not just like some hard burnt bacon crumble, Ugh, like some companies. Okay, so the lasagna noodles I kind of talked about, we're going to do those roll-ups tonight. Tuna, Harper, all the kids love, all the kids, I only have two. <laughs> Maybe I'm referring to Addison as well. Everybody here loves tuna sandwiches. Harper's on a major tuna kick right now, so I just picked up a few more cans while I was there. Sliced peaches. Um, the girls are really into that right now as well. Hot chocolate. Uh, 
In my Christmas Decorate With Me video, I used the last of the hot chocolate and poured it into a Christmas canister, but there really wasn't much left in the old container we had, so I just got a new one so I can top up my cocoa bar. Same with my jar of oats. It's only about half full, so I got another bag of oats so I can top that up. Um, Alfredo sauce. The recipe tonight calls for homemade Alfredo, but you guys, I'm not feeling it. So I have one jar ready in the pantry and I just grabbed one more jar. I'm just going to do jarred Alfredo. I, I just cannot today. It's been a rough week. <laughs> um, two cartons of cream. Addison drinks plain cream in his coffee. I put creamers, but I also am going to make some strawberry hot chocolate. Oakley's birthday party is a strawberry theme. So I'm going to make strawberry hot chocolate for the party tomorrow. So I'll need some for that. Down here, this is actually really hard to find. Just plain smashed avocado with nothing else added. We'll like put this on a wrap or on a sandwich. Oh, you know what? I'll probably put on my sandwich when I have that now. Um, or if you're making chicken salad, like it, you just, I'll just try and sneak that in anywhere else. I cannot eat just a sliced avocado. Ugh, cannot. These, I've explained these almost every time. They're good. They were on sale, so I just grabbed them while they were on sale. Um, Okay, I think we're about to get into the party stuff. So lemon juice, I don't have any on hand, but uh, some of the recipes for tomorrow's party did call for it. Also got some strawberry jam. So it's strawberry theme, and I got like the uh, croissant sandwiches from Costco for like the adults, but I'm gonna also make little like tea sandwiches for the kids. That'll just be either plain strawberry or peanut butter and strawberry jam. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. It's also why I got uh, the plain bread back there. Um, pure almond extract. I don't remember, but one of my recipes calls for that. And I don't think I've had it. And it's funny because I looked at it last week, thought about getting it, but I did not. Back here, um, I'm going to make a strawberry shortcake dip. And it calls for, um, just a little bit of this. I think it's just more or less a drizzle just to kind of make it look pretty and whatever. And then I got these, um, animal crackers to dip into the strawberry shortcake dip and I also got bring them over here honey graham crackers I have one sleeve left in the cupboard but I need this for two things I need it to dip into the strawberry shortcake dip and also to be the base for the I'm just gonna make Oakley's cake myself homemade but it's gonna be like a strawberry fluff cake I'll, I'll show you guys in the in the next video you see um, so yeah I need that for the base and to dip in the dip I keep saying dip, sorry. Um, white chocolate chips. These would be for the strawberry white hot chocolate that I make. Strawberries. You guys, can we just have a moment of like peace and prayers for my wallet? These are $5 each and you don't get many. 341 grams. Like they only give you 12 ounces. The lids pop off. I tell you, I totally thought about just ugh, taking from one container and filling up a few others, but I, I cannot. You guys, I stole a gumball once when I was a kid and I got busted and I've never stole anything since. So I, I can't even take a freaking strawberry without feeling bad. But I got four. It's a strawberry birthday party. I have a lot of things I need to do with them. I'm not even sure if it'll be enough, but uh, that's it. I'm drawing the line at four packs. These macarons. Um, I got these from Costco. They were on sale. So I'm going to put those out at the party. We have vanilla, pistachio, salted caramel, raspberry, chocolate hazelnut, and chocolate orange. Honestly, I really just wanted them for like pink, white, and green. <laughs> I wish that there was a pack with just those colors, but it'll be fine. Then also at Costco, this is a great deal. This was $10 for four blocks. I have cream cheese on my list. I need it for uh, two of the recipes and it yeah, $9.97 for four blocks. So that is great. We're going to go through it. Um, I got the bagels over there as well. Holidays are coming. I need two blocks as it is for the party. So that will be gone in no time. Walnut halves in pieces. I am going to make a strawberry salad as well at the party. Um, I say strawberry salad, but you know, spring mix. And I'm going to top it with some walnuts and... Uh, here, I'm going to top it with walnuts, feta cheese, carved chicken breasts. Um, if I had the time or patience, I would just kind of cook my own chicken right now. But I, again, I just, I don't. I'm running on fumes here today. So I'm um, going to top that. I have multiple different salad dressings I'll put on the side. Um, people can have like poppy seed or honey mustard dressings, like whatever they want. I'll just put a bunch of dressings out. So that's what all that is for, walnuts. So, and um. A sliced apple as well it just looks really pretty I just found 
found like a, an inspiration photo on Pinterest and it looks really nice. So I'm excited to do that. Then I just got a pack of blueberries and raspberries, both from Costco. They were both on sale. $2.99 for this large pack and $2.99 or $3.99. I cannot remember for a large pack of raspberries. So I always put out a fruit and veggie platter at my parties. Also, that's what these grape tomatoes are for. They're going to be for the vegetable platter along with a cucumber and these. I've never seen um, carrot sticks before. So I got those instead of just the typical baby carrots or large ones that I cut myself because, nope, saving time. I don't know if I showed you guys kibasa. Um, I usually do a meat and cheese tray at my parties as well, but this time I don't think I'm going to, so I'll probably just keep this on hand for Addison and the girls to have for lunches because they love that style of lunch. Back there, I got a pineapple from Costco. It was also on sale. I don't remember if it was $2.97 or $3.97. Um, so I'm going to dice that up. Uh, I'll wait till tomorrow. I'm going to dice that up and have that on the fruit platter at the party tomorrow as well. Um, sorry, I am all over the place. These are great. I put these out at, I think it was Harper's party in July. Um, they're really tasty. They're just like mini little, you guys know those wafer cookies. They're just like minis and they've got sprinkles on top, strawberries and cream. So these would be perfect for a strawberry themed party. Um, I got these definitely not strawberry themed, but I'm just going to put a bag of chips out at the party as well. That I love buying these ones for a party. It's not a flavor people usually buy for themselves at home but they are so stinking tasty talked about all this strawberry jello i'm gonna do some mini strawberry jello cups in just these little guys um for the party but then i also need one box for the cake that i'm going to try to make it's like i said it's kind of like a fluff cake sour cream i don't remember it's for one of the recipes for the party i can't remember off the top of my head which one um, some Lighthouse Homestyle Ranch Dressing. That'll be for the vegetable platter. Back here, I just got some juice boxes for the kids to have. This is the only time my kids get juice boxes is if there is a party. I don't know. It doesn't make me a mean parent. Maybe it makes me a smart one. Maybe it makes me a mean one. That's the only time they get juice boxes is at a party. <laughs> um, here, I had to go into the party store to get some like hot beverage cups. So this is going to be for the strawberry hot chocolate. Down here, this is from Costco. I'm gonna make the girls an advent calendar this year and fill it myself. So I'm gonna do a whole separate video on that, but I got these at Costco as part of that calendar. So I won't say anything else because I'm gonna do a video for you guys on that. Down here, um, just some whip topping that will go with the hot chocolate bar. Two containers of Cool Whip. Um, again, I need it for two of the recipes. What else? I'm going to do a yogurt parfait. So I got some other, I'll show you all that, all that in a second. So we're going to do some vanilla yogurt with some granola. I actually have a strawberry shortcake granola in the cupboard. So I swear it's like I've been hanging on to it for something special. And here we go. And then some diced strawberries in there. Then I got some whipping cream. I, again, don't remember which of the recipes, but it's going to go in one of them. Walmart, I also got a large container here of my favorite favorite wow favorite fabric softener wow the ultra downy cool cotton it smells so good i really enjoy it um a bag of milk three bags four liters we have some in the garage but i'll need some for the hot chocolate and then the last thing was i ran into the dollar tree just to get a few things so we just got some candles here these will be for these little ones will be for just regular plain strawberry jello and then these ones i really wanted two of these these are my favorite the little like goblet cups uh, i'm gonna do the yogurt parfaits in this i think i have one more pack downstairs from the last party but i'm not 100 percent sure so i got this pack as well they only had one left of that or i would have just got two of them um so i got these as well for the yogurt parfaits if i don't have a second pack of this downstairs these were on clearance for 56 cents. I couldn't remember if I had napkins or not for the party. And the last thing I got at the Dollar Tree was just some red, but a fruit tray, vegetable tray. I don't know what I'll use that for, but I got these last and then this would be for the chips. I got these last time for Harper's party and they worked out great. They're $1.50 each and they have all sorts of colors and they always match my theme. So that's just where I go now. So anyways, I'm gonna get all this put up 
and stress about where to put it all. Some of it just has to be left out because I need it for tonight and tomorrow. Some of it has to, I gotta find room in the freezer. But anyways, that is Dollar Tree, Costco, and Walmart. And I spent just under $400. So. Okay, so now we're gonna make supper. We're gonna make those chicken alfredo roll-ups. You're only gonna make, well the recipe only calls for half a box, nine noodles, and that will be plenty enough for us. So I'm just gonna um, boil nine noodles until they're al, al dente. <clears throat> and in the meantime, Oakley here is gonna help me mix up the filling um, for the inside, ricotta cheese, Italian seasoning. I'm doing it a little bit different. Um, garlic powder, onion powder, shredded chicken, an egg, I don't remember if it calls for this inside the filling or on top, but I will double check with that. But we are going to get everything mixed up in a bowl, aren't we? It's Just to make sure I don't you. get any shells. Oh yeah. I got cheese. So we're going to do like a oh, cup yeah. oh, I see the of egg ricotta. Okay, you, you can start, start mixing that. Okay. <laughs> Italian seasoning. Yeah. Oh my god, that's a lot you put in there. Wood chips? Yeah, for playground. Oh, oh. Okay, that. mix all of that really good together. Go ahead. Some of that cheese. cheese in there. Okay, mix. That's cheese. Oh yeah. Chicken. Oops. Careful. Oh my god, that's a lot of chicken. Chicken. Oh. 